Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the 100 day project and welcome back to day 50. Actually, it's not welcome back. Welcome to day 50, 50 days of vlogs. We're halfway there. Oh, it still seems like an awful, awfully long way to go. But anyway, we've made it to day 50, which is a good thing. Just a very quick little morning vlog as the, uh, or Sunday morning vlog as these quite often are, because of course our main travel vlog is coming out later this evening, six o'clock UK time, when we're hoping to tick off one of Nicola's travel bucket list items. What do you think? Do you think it lived up to expectations? Or do you think like quite often meeting your heroes, it's a slight disappointment. I guess you'll have to tune in tonight at six o'clock to find that out. And by the way, excuse the carnage here, did a little bit of hand washing and then the weather turned a little bit pants. As you would have seen in yesterday's video, we have left Spain. And yeah, very, very sad to be leaving Spain. We spoke last Sunday about we absolutely need a change and we are excited. Um, I say a little bit apprehensive, we'll talk about that. <laughs> Actually, quite apprehensive now after watching some other vlogs uh, from the places where we're going to, but we'll talk about that in an upcoming vlog this, this week. Spain's wonderful, and it's such an easy country, as I'm sure is France, it's such an easy country to travel through in the van, and we really are hoping to get back out there again next year. It just, however, had started to feel a little bit, a little bit stagnant and a little bit too, too easy. But if you're thinking about maybe a first time trip in a van into Europe, then you could do a whole lot worse than spending a little bit of time down in Spain. What was interesting was every time we've come down through Spain before, we've taken the westerly coast of France, down through San Sebastian and then down that, down that way or along the northern coast of Spain. We're obviously traveling up or we traveled up the Costa Brava and actually that seems like a pretty decent route to, to do. So I think if we were going to be coming down again, either later this year or early next year, then I think that's the route that we, we would do. Not least, it would allow us to pop back into Girona, which gets a huge, huge thumbs, thumbs up, especially with all the free stuff it, it was offering. And the tapas. Oh, really missing tapas already. So our plans coming up for the next probably 10 days, two weeks, is we are going to be going along the southern coast of France, not really doing a heck of a lot there. We're just kind of using that as a sort of get some miles in. And then we're hoping to visit a couple of places in Italy, uh, Cinque Terre, uh, Pisa, uh, in through, down through Tuscany. Uh, we've already done the likes of uh, Rome and Milan and uh, Florence and Venice and places like that. We're not really going to, apart from Pisa, which we have a little bit of a plan for anyway, um, we're not really going to be doing too many of the cities. Now we're going to be getting the boat across to Greece from Brindisi. So if you kind of look at that on a map coming down from sort of Cinque Terre, uh, down through Pisa and across to Brindisi, um, if you have any suggestions of places that we need to visit, preferably little sort of small, maybe off the beaten track hikes, or maybe you've come across a really good, I'm really in the mood for some home cooked pasta and stone baked pizza. So if you've got any Italian recommendations from that perspective, oh, and ice cream as well. I'm being told ice cream as well. Any recommendations there, uh, very, very welcome, welcomely received. We are also hoping to fit in a park run. Obviously there's no park runs in Spain or Portugal. They have, for whatever stupid reason, canceled all the park runs in France through some insurance technicality. So we haven't, we've been missing our park run fix. So we're hoping to maybe fit in at least one park run. But if you've got any recommendations for things that we need to see and do in Italy, say we're only gonna be there for a couple of weeks. We might be coming back to Italy later in the year, but any recommendations would be very much welcomely received. Just stepping out of the, stepping out of the van while Nicola gets, we've just been for a run actually, a nice little 5K. Nicola's getting herself sorted. Yeah, we're actually staying on a campsite where we are at the moment. And we'll talk a little bit about the, um, the campsite as well. Give a little bit of a, of a review of that. A little bit of rain in the air. So hopefully as we start to push a little bit further east, uh, that rain will subside, the temperatures will rise and um, we'll have a nice time in, in Italy, mostly actually. So, but as I say, this was only meant to be a very quick uh, 100 day vlog today on Sunday, our main travel vlog out later on this evening. Catch that when, as I say, we tick off one of Nicola's travel bucket lists. Will it live up to her, her expectations? I guess you'll have to tune in at six o'clock to find out. 
But for me and the 100 day project, day 50 off the vlogs, we'll catch up tomorrow.